Hello and welcome here to Wexford. We're in River Chapel, Jimmy's Bar, owned by Jimmy Fleming. That first frame was just a practice frame by Casey. I didn't realize that um, he was getting a, a practice frame in. Uh, and in fairness, Adam did have a practice frame before we took photos, so fair is fair. This is the first frame here now. Greg Casey won the lag, as you can see. Very best of luck to the two players. A massive thanks to all of our stream sponsors CGQ Snooker and Pool Sales, Joe's Bar in Ballinasloe, the and DF Builders mm. Limited. This is Red Dish TV here on the Irish Pool Online channel. Make sure you're following us on Facebook and on YouTube. All of our streams are free to view. Be absolutely fantastic if you could hit that like button and if you're on social media facebook or twitter to share the stream link out to your friends thank you very much guys and enjoy the final we'll try to get uh, jimmy fleming and uh, one or two others in co to commentate but for the moment uh, enjoy the first few frames until we get until we get set up for that
Just going to hand you over to Jimmy Fleming himself to do a bit of commentary for you. Cheers, Baz. Good afternoon, fans. As George here needs to. Uh, the final of the big one. Four and a half thousand euro for the winner. Greg Casey v Adam Marr. Max for the V Cork. Adam who bet Jordan's in it ten nine in the semi final. He broke a dish uh, final frame. But then he played a shot. Um give it a frame nine or ten. You go back was, uh, people have shared it. They came off three cushions by the red in the middle. It's one of the best shots I've ever seen live. Um Chris Manning would be proud of it, so so I think Rona Fay shared it there, so he wants to have a look at it. Um runner up for this time I guess two and a half thousand. Um Jordan's in it and Sean Walsh were beating the semis. Uh, they get twelve fifty, so all my in that was paid into the pot, it's paid back out so. Um there's no one making money this tournament, only the actual players themselves. Uh brand new Supreme Table just supplied Thursday by Carl Quinn of CGQ Poland Snooker. Um, this frame now has turned into a bit of a tactical first frame. Um, I fancy Adam to win this frame because um, Greg comes from a snooker background so tactics wouldn't be his strong point but he makes up for it in the pattern department. So now we have Greg who is on yellow balls and it seems to be in a small bit of trouble this frame. Greg who beat his fellow um, county man, Sean Walsh, who's only 15 years of age, was a super tournament, taking out big names like Pat O'Leary and Carl, I don't know, and he's only playing now plus one, which is um, a testament to how good he is, 15 years of age, and he's playing now plus one, and uh, the best players in the country, so he's a massive future of pool, so he has, and a lovely attitude as well, so he has. So Greg is going to be a bit aggressive here, but... I still think he's in a good bit of trouble in this frame. Adams, Adam is one to two favourite to win this frame. This is the seventh year of the big one, um, founded by the one and only late John McMahon, who was actually here this time last year. And then two weeks after this, he partially passed away on Christmas Eve. So, um, a huge shock to the pool world, I wouldn't say the Irish pool, but the pool world. Oh, um, everyone knew John McMahon, anyone that played pool at any kind of uh, decent level, John McMahon was the man. So it was a massive loss this weekend, I miss him personally as a friend, but um, I think um, the Irish pool misses him as well, and lead world pool. So rest in peace, Johnny Mac. So Greg now is um, let Adam in. I think Adam is that red, in the middle of the table, the top pocket. <coughs> He'll probably double this red up and down the bottom left hand corner. Very aggressive with Adam. Didn't turn out the best one, but still a slight favourite for his friend, I think, still. Might just have to go for this right in the middle of the table and try and come down and kick that yellow out. Yes, I think he's going to look at it. Put the red in the bottom left and oh, he's going for the bottom right there. So he's blocked up that bottom right hand pocket. <coughs> Typical Adam Irish shot. 
tactician. Um, Adam's only 20 years of age and he's, he's won multiple world championships with Irish on the 23 team. And he's also won an IPA tour, maybe two, um, 16 years of age. So he's no stranger to winning trophies and winning money. Other Adam never shows um, any emotion when he's playing for That's the good thing about him. He doesn't know whether he's, whether he's happy or sad, but he certainly does his face and give it away. He makes a great poker player. Big Dave is just doing the point of Guinness there to my left. All right, Davey. He said it's a wonderful world. So right now, we're going to try to get this. What he's trying to do, actually. He's going to try and play a safe, maybe play a snooker. Yeah, good shot. Looks like a snugger, total. So now um, Adam has played a deliberate foul, so Greg has two shots on yellows. Still, Adam is, looks to be favourite for this frame still. Greg has two yellows in trouble. So I don't know how he's going to get him out there without. And even with two shots, he's going to be under pressure. And Charlie Cronin with his Han Casey. Big Cork onion. So now here's uh, Greg with two shots. Um, and this is world rules, so shots carry. You don't have to, <coughs> if you keep potting, you still carry your two shots. So, in this case, I don't know, it's not black ball rules, this is world rules. Uh, race 10 in the final, I just race 10 in the whole um, series, so every match is race 10. So Greg is going to hit this yellow hard and try and bounce these two yellows over. That's a very good shot. See where it land now. Oh my god. Couldn't land in the worst spot. It could be, uh, it could be stuck to these other yellows. It could be um, just play away from his own ball if it's uh, touching. So Adam now is... Um, so he's going to have um, first first shot in the black here, but um, Greg can still pull pull out the top shot, so it's far from over this frame. There's usually a shot lock in these matches, but um, the way Greg and Adam play, I don't think I need a minute a minute per shot. But um, these two boys don't mess around, so there's no great need for um, shot lock. Greg is taking his time over this shot. It's not, it's not easy, so he's going to try and walk it out. Where he's going to try and put the white ball safe. Doesn't look to be anywhere he can put it. That must be red to wide open. Shane Sexton, well, kid. Hi, Shane. It's a crack kid. What do you think of Valamara's shot in the Sinner match, Shane? See you share that as well. He's going over here. He's going to probably leave the white in the bottom rail. <coughs> Give Adam a long red. I think he's going to try and push his yellow over towards the red from the cushion here. No. No, he's left the red for Adam. So then that was a chance to um, win this frame. I'd say he'll go for it anyway. He's not, um, 
Ball is on Adam Gosselin. Now Adam is on um, his top right to the right hand pocket. He passed this his frame over. Great shot by Adam. Perfect. Yeah, it was a great game between Adam and uh, Jordan, Shane. Uh, it had to be a loser, especially with two Westwood players playing. That, um, the atmosphere was sort of subdued because the two of them were local players, so there was no one really shooting free to one of them. I don't know who's going for the one in the corner, right to the middle. Just go up and down, up and down the table, and then put the black in the bottom left hand corner. <coughs> put a small bit of, small bit of right hand side in there. No, I just screwed back up, I could be in trouble. Yeah, I think he's had to snuggle himself here. I went up now on the cushion just to avoid them. Yellows over there, but everyone's different. So Adam is total snow good in the black, so this is all in pear shape from. Yeah, Melling wouldn't do it as right, Shane. If Melly done that, they were still talking about it for the next 10 years. Okay. And he's going to have to get um, good contact here to put the black. We'll see if I can do it in the last match, so he's well capable of doing it again. Do you play much pool, Charlie? Doing loads of commenting there. Charlie Cronin, very poor shot, he says. I mean, the players pull the highest level knows that it can be a cruel game at times. You can play the easiest shots and can just turn into nightmare shots. He's going up and down, so he's maybe trying to put the black in there. He just gets a good contact on it and just hope for his best. No, two shots away. So two shots for Greg Casey in the first frame. Um, I can't see Greg not mopping these up. He's only one hard ball on the rail, but he's, as I said, he's two shots and shots carry. So I can't see um, Adam getting back into the table this frame. Four shot by Greg again. Um, probably just. Two boys are nervous in the first first round of the match. Once he gets going, I'd say you won't see you won't see too many mistakes. He still has two shots. Just to probably try and put this ball on the rail now. Put down towards the bottom pocket. I just rattle it, but it's <clears throat> actually perfect. So this. Greg just has to try and get on the, that middle yellow and um, to track down for the yellow on the bottom rail. But uh, it seems straightforward enough. Just drop the one in the corner first. It's too hard, but look at it. It's a terrible shot. And they come around all the angles now. To try, I mean, that's, that's all they can do. Just cut it in and come around three or four, one, two, three cushions. A chance of the yellow coming out of the middle pocket though. They're not really, these new tables are not really great at taking middle shots. Yeah, there you go. I tried, tried to force it in, but um, this is um, it's going to be one in that middle of it.
first frame goes to Alamar from Mexford. So it was a scrappy first frame, but um, as I said, it'll all improve. improve as the match goes on. Mm -hmm. So I know we're big Baz Barry Sinner. Hiya, Jim. Hiya, my friends. My, my, no my, my fans. How are my fans? Yeah. Yeah, we'll get it later. Sure, it's no good. I'm on the yellow. Set it more for it in the middle. Just, just, just wanted to finish the pen. How to make this cup, pray? With a band. Banner. Good split. Stop. 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 Sometimes the, the older tables, the ball gets clumped in itself, makes it scrappy. That's it, Mr. Mad, Mr. Scrap. Big price at the start of it, he was. What price was he? 16s? 25s. 25 to 1, now he's in the final. Each way, I better be nice. Give a 5 to 1 minute. John. See Deb McQuillan in the background there going to sleep. Um, I thought Greg was going to be hard to be off scratch. Not a bad miss by them, so. Yeah, no, just a bit set alone, but then. I fancy Greg to take reds over here. Oh, Adam's on reds, Jimmy. Oh, is he not made reds? Okay. Greg's on yellows. He's still there. Hiya, my friend. There's that again. Made an healer. Do you know the way you be like? You half cook coming home from a Christian, like. Oh. Forest gum should be banned. Who is that? God knows. Who's Forest Gump like? Oh, Forest Gump, the name says no. Oh, keyboard warrior. I think he was trying to play it off the black there, wasn't he? Right, yeah, like that cushion. Very unlike the poor boys. This game will set low, it's just... I think Adam and Jordan's game two of them, two balls missed early on, and then he just took off into a serious standard. Uh, Adam done well from 4 0 down, Jimmy. He was 4 0 down, and Jordan broke, and didn't nominate. That was about 5 1. 5 0. Standard was brilliant, so it's hard to argue with no one, no complaints about those and them. Adam's very hard beat as well. Very underestimated player. <coughs> Very good bet in the first round by yesterday. 
Ah. Just going to throw one of them patches, isn't it? <coughs> yeah, sure. Evan was, Evan was. Rob Murray hasn't made the last 22 of the last two IPA tours, which is very unusual for him. Well, he has made a throw for the Sunday, like. Made a play, was it? No, no, he... Oh, Paul Leary. Paul Leary, like. Our last 64 match. Serious tunes, Dave Kremen from the Gallows Bar in Cork. How are you doing, Davey? George's in it without her last on the night. Took a few bob away from the Cork boys, we had Casa in 25-19 <coughs> in a black ball match. But, uh, the black is stuck to that top cushion so, or that middle rail, so I think, I think it'll just go in the middle, will it? I think so. Nah, I suppose it'll only happen in half as well, you think. Are you keen to spin that cushion, Jay? Anything with Mick Hill? Oh, that goes into the middle, too. You just drop, drop this one in the middle, roll off the yellow. Side best shot ever. I wonder well enough to hold that white for the red on the left corner. Make a Sean Walsh this weekend, Jim. Sean Walsh to get run by Sean the Storm, they call him. I did Storm this competition, um, beat me in the first round 10 8. 10 dishes. No, 10 dishes. He hit five, he hit five yeah. against me. Um, then he played Carl the one next. He beat Carl. Is it Decider, was it? 10 9, yeah. 10 9, Decider, yeah. Snooping himself in the black. Then he beat um, Paul Leary, get Pat Wood thumping in the quarterfinals here late last night. I think it was 10 4, 10 5. Pat never going against him, but. Um, And those are just hanging in the top right. I think he's um, I don't think he's left any yellow on here though. No. And I'm cute enough. Big David, lovely Lord of Porter. David Crabble look. Hi David, you don't mind me the pay the bands to watch it. Three <laughs> quarter <laughs> ten day might be over then. Like watching Pape try it was. <laughs> you back on Buzz? A few quid out of my eyes. Maybe play the plant here. No. It's not a bad yeah, shot. No go, but um, Adam will just get around that and swerve. Still, still playing for the frame. <coughs> it's a tough shot to swerve around. The yellow's not in the pocket either. So more over at the cushion. Not red. It's red, yeah. It's not yellow. Say if we go for the red ass cushion. Yes, does he? Yeah. So more shots, Casey. Are you sorry for the season, really, guy? Um, after the last <laughs> first frame. <laughs> Greg, with two shots in the last few months, yeah, he has to get these. Yeah. That's what he's bought on I hope it could be one all but looks this. Dave Kravitz said that the rematch between George and Cassidy <laughs> started at 8 a.m. next time. Oh, Davey. I hope, match, all right. I hope that's 8 a.m. on the Friday now. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll be over by Sunday then. I wouldn't say it'll be a rematch yet, I think. I don't think he's. John will play in the morning, alright, but I think Cassa will just take his time and see what he, what he wants to rematch or not. It's a lot more easier matches for the two. Yeah, it's also one of them for matches now. So Casey still has two shots, so he's fancy him to just cut this yellow and then um, two shots out of the back of the middle. Oh, what's he going to do here? Oh. It's a bit of nerve still, I think, right? So it's one I, all. I play to the bottom here, Jimberly. Nah, I really have been cracked. <laughs>
Randall of the Randalls. Mark Boyle, he's playing um, on Cousins. I'm Cousins, so they're fancy Cousins now. Adam Davis plays Cousins, isn't it? Boyle plays Ken Scrimbo. He's playing the cup of tea, Jordan Pal. How are you, Cop? <coughs> Adam Davis, 9 each. Yeah. Sean Shippenfield is 10 9 up on Mark Boyle. David McNamara is 10 8 up on Ryan Clark. Garrett Hibbleby, Jack Wheel, and 11 8. Still three over there. Garrett Hibbert played the winner, David McNamara, and Ryan Clark. Fancy Garrett Hibbert to get to the final. Ryan Clark, what a there, is he? Casey. Yeah, it's very good. Yellows are blue. Yellows on there, yeah. A shout out to Minnie Morris from Donegal up in Bundaur, Minnie, that's the crack. And her massive pole fan, Minnie, who's actually the member of the IPA committee. How's things, Minnie? Dave McQuill is still here, Minnie. Half asleep. <coughs> He's got home advantage. Uh, Terry Rogers is coming, so. Let's go for the share. Two on the Greggles. Hands 
tough for Greg going up to Terry Rogers now. I'd say the most modern enjoyable. Go car contingent traveling up and say. Every big side part of the talk, every 10 minutes. Five each, where they are. Each of them. 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 There's huge entries like King of the Hill next year. I think there's I think there took 400 entries for the different sections here. I think there's four sections now. Mm-hmm. I'll try Brett here by Adam. Poor Cosley. Very about yellows. Yeah, these yellows are looking lovely as well. These yellows are dollies, as Chris Sunderland has said. It's going to be strained by um, Red Dish TV as well, so if anyone can make it to the address in two weeks time, Red Dish, Irish Pool Online will have it up on um, YouTube. Red Dish is all the IP events in Ireland too, so very good service, but um, highly recommend it. Looks like it. Three one eight. Perfect. The off is perfect unless this now, but might be running into yellow. Yeah, yeah. Let's go back after. Let's go back and drop it in. Shot. There you go. Three one legs. Joe's Bar Balance Law, one of the sponsors today. Along with Carl Quinn, CGQ, Pool and Snooker Sales. Um, Carl was actually down here Thursday. He bought that that new table off. It's black, but it's a design on it. It's lovely design. Lovely, um, super fine cloth, striking cloth on it. Um, it's actually faster than the uh, builder, big Frank Fay. That's fine. We'll drink a kick and a half again. It's all again. Absolute That's animal. Again, Doesn't drink. He drinks his open his eyes. And he stops drinking when he closes his eyes. Uh, Frank, another big supporter of Irish Pool, former manager of the Irish Army Pay 3 team who won, ST, uh, who won three um, worlds in a row. Oh, that's a big Paddy Brady over there. Head of security in Jimmy's. Big PB. Carl McCurran, David. What's David thinking then? Dun, Dun Dog here. Or, sorry, Drogheda. David Gaynor. David got to a it's going to be fine at the last tour where he came a cropper against Declan Huck. But um, he beat Scalps in the way, he beat Jason Waters, thinking the quarterfinals. Jason was looking for back to back IPA wins. 
Jason actually Popovich, uh, played in the tournament this weekend, got beat in the first round by Ronan Fay, 10-7. Or the bookies had Ronan Fay 5-2 uh, before that match. I think Frank hopped off him. So, break breaks. Very good, very good break, yeah. Looks to be yellows again. This could be a, a 4-1, have a look at it. Jerry Yellow is honest. Right. Yeah, it's tough shot, tough for sure. We missed it, the reds are out way out in the open too, there's not a ball on the cushion, so that's going to be over quick. So Greg is not made yellow zipper zone. Goes for the two of them are actually two of them are and all the balls in the open. So either color is the should, 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 should finish the frame. It's red to the middle now, isn't it? It's going to go into um, find a lot of traffic here. Not that happy with his position, but I think it should be stunned up off it. Red, red went to the middle past yellow. Um, looks good enough for me. Dropped well. Yellow or red in the middle. I put the red in the top corner, and the black and going. Black and win any pocket. Sitting right, smack bang centre middle of the table. Shot by Greg. Yeah, he's going to have to come down for but um, as a smoke player, he'd be he'd fancy to put the red and track the black. This super fine spring cloud, I think it's um, I think it's going to be the world's next year. Oh, they're all going to be grey. I think they're getting rid of the green clouds for the world, so I think the grey is actually. <clears throat> Better colour he looks for kissing the black here. Oh he got away with it. Yeah, he's after apologizing to him, so he's, he's kissed the black to put it on for the bottom right hand corner. So okay, so he looks like going to take a four one lead in this match. Yep, four one it is. Big Dave. Jordan's in there for you. Hi, Jordy. I was just thank, thanking the cog boys for a few bob he gave us last week. <laughs> Dave Kremen said he, he paid the band to sit and watch it. <laughs> That's Connor Trav. I'm just talking about Barry's dish. Rape my plate, Barry. Rape <laughs> <laughs> He just put it in mouth about two sandwiches at one time, so. Alamar breaks, uh, trailing four frames to one. Ball potted. Yeah. 
shout out to Brian Maher who's here in the building, Adam's father, his number one fan, Adam's younger brother, I forget his name, but um, every time you see Adam, he's at the pool table with him, he's about two or three years of age. Adam goes for yellows, I fancy to finish these. Welcome back, fans. Uh, it's 4 1 to Greggles, and this looks to be going to be 5 1. It's not a great shot, but um, Adam broke down his last ball uh, in the sixth frame. So back on line. Greg is carrying. He's only one shot, so he's going to have to probably snow come behind the black. Martin done his text with the streamers down. It's back on Martin. If you go back into Irish pool online or Red Dish TV. So Greg is on the black here. Um, he hasn't got a double thing, he's gone double kiss, so he'd probably just tip the black off the cushion and then um, put the white in behind it. That's what I'd play anyway. He's probably disappointed that he's not on a better, but such is life. I think he's going to actually try and play this double. No, I played it off the cushion, good shot. Adam hits the yellow and puts the white. Puts the white down at the bottom of the table here. Um, David Hard Black for Greg Sowell. Mini has said the stream keeps cutting out Barry. Um, I think we're having problems here with the with the computer here. I don't think it's the. It should be coming up. It should be fine there. It should be fine there now, according to Barry. Um, see the zero zero drop frame, so looks to be okay. Let, let, let us know on here, Mini. Um, if it's if it keeps doing, it, we'll try something else with it. Frank Fay, the F Builders, King of the Hill in two weeks time, tyranny against Casey. Race at 21, black ball rules. Thank you, Graham. <laughs> so Adam has a, a wide shot on the other one. He's got Greg just to tap into the middle pocket, so it's going to be 5-1 by the looks of it. Yeah. It's 5,000 for the winner in two weeks' time. The runner-up gets 2,500 at King of the Hill. That's a good shot by Greg, black in the bottom corner. So it's 5 1 to Greg. Um, Adam is tagging this match. It's going to be, it's going to be um, a drubbing for him. But look at what it's, it was 4 0 against Jordan Sinner, don't forget. And Jordan broke and forgot to nominate the colour. And Adam went on to win the match 10 9. So. Adam has never overmatched his, his some grit for him. a 20 year old. He's been around as long as I've been around. I was 2012, I think, was the first. All Ireland's I played in was in um, Trebalgan. An absolute dump in Trebalgan. But uh, Adam won the under 15s. Adam was um, the under 15 title down in Trebalgan in 2012. So just shows you how I think he was. 12 years of age, it's seven, seven or eight years ago. So, um, he's doing an IPA at 16 years of age, and that's that's his sum going to win. Anyone to win a tour is massive going for a 16 year old, it's, it's history, like you know, it's honor to have. So, at 20 years of age, Adam has more experience probably than a lot of people in this room put together. Um, you have Carol, I know, here, 
Ronan Fay, Pat O'Leary, all the top Irish players, Stevie Dempsey, Conor O'Boyle. So now it's 5 1 Casey. I think she's got a short break, so we'll back to you in a few minutes. Thanks, fans. So if I want it's break to break. Good job, got to kick your ball after. Oh, Connor Cohen. No. You wouldn't get kicking a stampede, so you wouldn't throw it. Connor was down here for um, Sporting Jordan in the semi final match against Adam. Greg's actually gone in off, so it's um, ball in hand to Adam. Only one shot in more rules when it goes in off. So Frank Vale now is in the, into the building, full of black porter. So Adam now is um, one shot on ball in hand. That's a good thing though. Probably, probably go for yellows. Seem to be more out in the open. So Adam is ball in hand. So is, is he, he's going for reds. Is he? Strange choice, but he's playing the final, not me. Taking the red ball, so just one problem is that the red in the rail, but um, there's loads of chances to track that. So, fancy Mar here to back to depths of the three frames. It's a good shot, Adam. He's on the hover here. Baz on the hover, huh? <laughs> Barry's granddad dropped down to the match today. Fair play to granddad. Red today, <coughs> red in the middle of the table to go to the middle pocket and then um, track that one on the rail and scroll back up for the, the other red in the middle. That looks good to me. Perfect for Adam.
So um, just a little slight touch of um, screw on this, and it'll be banging off that right to the middle pocket. Just has to make sure it goes in though, just to be sure. Yep. Just drop the red into the middle and then put the black in the bottom left hand corner for um 5-2 deficit. Good shot. Frank Fair seems to be in Adam's corner, he's doing a lot of shouting. Not like Frank now to be heard. Black goes in, 5-2 out of the man. Why should Crowder start and get behind the local man? So Alamar to break, trailing five frames to two. The final of the 500 man with 19 entries this year, biggest entry we've had. Um, <clears throat> Nine and a half thousand euro prize money. All money that was taken in has been given out. <clears throat> 19 last year, but you're telling me so. Second year, second year, um, it's been 19 winners. It? Started out the first year, I think, back in 2013 with um, 16 runners. First winner was um, Gavin Cleary from Dublin. Second winner was Declan Hawk from Mayo. Third winner was Gary Clark. Then Declan Hawk. Then Craig Casey, then two years ago. Then the machine arrived at Wexford, Declan Brennan. Who be Robert Perry in the final. And then this year's final is Greg and Adam. Greg has been in his second final in his second appearance. Won it two years ago. And looking to make it two wins out too. But Adam is first year playing, I think, is it? Adam first year in the 500 man. Second year, maybe, is it? Oh, he was. He was last year. Bet me in the first round. Then he, um, I don't know, slower than 10 5 then, yeah. So, Adam is. Up. He's going for yellows, is he? I'm joined here in, this, in the commentary by Jordan Sinner, who just beaten in a in a hill hill match against Adam. Um, Jordan was, was five five nil up, uh, sorry four nil up, and failed to nominate. So Adam's not missing that now. So so anyway. Um, I think it's actually open table, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Yeah, it looks to be. Looks to be open table, so Greg can either go for yellows or reds. Great, John Ward's over there. All right, Johnny. Big fan of Irish pool as well. John goes to all the IPA events. We didn't have a few blacks, but wouldn't mind that. If they know, obviously, been a world champion. He goes for it. This seems to be fairly, um, fairly handy enough. Let's see. Just put you on to Jordan here for a few minutes. Well, Jordan, what do you think of today's match? It's a close battle between me and Adam. Always going to be a tough game for two of us. And it looks, in the end, it looks like it went down to breaks, really. And he was the better player, punished everything. Tough from as well, coming down, coming back from four 0 down to win as well. I 
Well done, Jordan. Jordan and a couple of points of course lighting him. That's to be done. Show to Jordan's man, Money Game Murphy's in it. Absolute legend of a woman. She must have the patience of a saint. <laughs> Love this lad. And Greg knows that it's looking Money good. Get a Christmas present this year. That's it, Money Game will get a Christmas present this year. Trevor so looking, well, that's what Conor Cohen wanted, no Trevor's. As I said, he wouldn't get a kick in the stampede. <laughs> So now we have Bjork on the, on the radio. Greg knows better very good shot here. Very top two is Greg Casey. Yeah, he was the very well. Just saying, you never hear Frank in Rome, would you? Quite his man in Ireland. Oh, hi. So this looks like going to be a 6-2 to Greg. Just drop the red into the right hand corner and then put the black into the bit of right hand side to trigger for the middle. Perfect. Let's try on the black. So six two Greggles. That's the bass. So six two, great to break. Adam has to get into this get into this match quickly or he's gonna he's gonna be left behind. That's, that's. Um, Barry Sinna looking to do a few um, back massages at the next event to raise money for. Uh, <laughs> Why are you raising money for, Barry? <laughs> to pay for the hotel room. No, no, pay for your raffle. Are <laughs> no, you going to have a raffle? <laughs> to pay for Connor Travers' face plan. Pay for life off. Right, I'll back in the match here. Casey, 62 up. Adam needs to get his Connor finger Travers out now. <laughs> Yeah, you so six two to Greg, please break. Ah. So a dry break from Grey. Barry. So back to the action of 6 2 to Greg. Adam's in the table here now. It's open table. Greg Dre broke, so Adam's going for yellows. Yeah. Adam's on yellow, so he just has to. I think he has a red yellow to top right hand corner, so. Didn't come down far enough from the. So there's yellow into the bottom left hand corner. Right, hold that in a second.
Good shot by Adam. He should um, have one of these yellows to the middle pocket. Give me an extra to Oh, Frankie. That's a great shot by Mar. A super shot. I don't know, just these two yellows, the right and left hand middle pocket. Black looks to go to the left hand bottom corner. Last long here. Adam, this is a bit of Chinese snowboard and yellow, but it's grand. This black must go to the bottom left hand corner, the way he's supposed to come out. Two cushions and track it. Carlos, how you, pal? <laughs> so I don't know his last yellow. He needs to pot this, get back into the match. Six two is it? Bit of a bit lame, but if anyone to pull it back, Alamar. Oh, he's got a bad kick there after he got red. He's gonna be snooker, is he? Could be hampered here now. He might just be a small swerve and put it in the middle pocket, but it looks to be a little bit of butter here. So Adam says we snowboard this. <laughs> Jordan, why now a turn here? Adam, here we go, Adam in the black swerve. It's not easy. Who? <laughs> so you just trying to swerve the swerve around the red, put a black in the middle. So black is gone all over the shot. Big nose and reds. It's half ever from here. I'm just checking to see if that ball stuck on the cushion. Thank you. 
charge with your back. Last evening, all of this. So, Greg on reds here. Seven reds left. Adam was unlucky in the black at the time. He got a bad kick off one of the reds. Didn't give him a shot at any pocket. Same with this shot here. Um, so the keeps up this pace, we've got a shot lock on it. Greg is playing the red right onto the black. Just leaving the double, I think, leaving the cross. Even the cross to the far corner is going to be a very poor shot if he is like hurt Greg if he had him this black but um, the moment it looks like a mighty cross but Daisy's having a shot and that red beside the middle pocket stuck to that cushion so he should have probably went for his snow and got two shots. Adam's going for it. Uh, cross was, oh, he doesn't knock him Greg's right in. Two shots, Greg. This is probably going to be 7 2 by the looks of it. Adam hasn't got going in this final at all. It's very, very unlike him. The OG is solid as a rock and he doesn't make too many mistakes. His shot selection is brilliant. So, Greg now needs two shots, right? Has a plan for some shot. So he's tracked the red to the top, top of the middle, just off the middle pocket. So um, even if he doesn't pot it, he'll. Um, Set himself up for them two reds that are beside each other there at the close to the green spot. You can't really see Greg going wrong from here. As I say, he's still carrying two shots, so he's a shot not in this red here. If it goes in, it goes in, if not, it's another shot, so there he goes. No, the roll. See the roll out at the last second, but um, he's still favourite win the frame. Greg is playing the red in the car and come around then for the one of the, one of the reds to the middle pocket. Let him put two of them in it. Just go back off the, the top one. Then he just tracked the one into the bottom left hand rail. It seems to be just. Let's go back up off and it's blacked into the far right hand corner. Yeah, perfect. You can't really go wrong from here, but stranger things have happened, I suppose. Where's the white ball going? Oh, it's another hard, bit harder, it was in the middle pocket, but um, then that perfect weight. Good shot, Greg. Looks to be 7 2 Casey, which is starting to become from a hill into a mountain to climb for Adam. But as I said to you before, if anyone came to come back, it's Adam Marr. 
Still should be proud of himself for he's on this again getting to the final. So 7 2 it is to Greg. So nine frames played and it's 7 2 to Mr. Casey from Cork. You're getting a word of advice now from Frank. That'd be tidy, it's a. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I think Frank nearly broke uh, Adam's back there with a big pat on it. That's 160 odd watts in there now, Barry, so it's not bad. Considering the Supreme Series is on as well. So 7 2, Mr. Casey, with Adam R's break. And has he put a ball? The boys, the group. So now, KC to the table, leading seven frames to two with a race to ten. Three frames away from being the second man to win the. To win the 500 man, the big one twice. Declan Hogg from Mayo is the only, only, only other person to win it twice. Gary Clark's winner. Gavin Cleary from Dublin. Craig is winner. And last year was Declan Brennan from County Down. So Casey's going to take reds here. It's a very good shot. Greg's only hard shot is the, it's the one on the rail, on the right hand side, top rail. It's only a hard shot, the rest of them are just, um, it's just going to be tracking them and going with the hardest parts of the bit of, bit of traffic around them, the bottom half of the table. It looks fairly good shot. Now just drop down, put the one in the middle, now beside the yellow, on the pink spot. Still not, not that easy to finish, but I think he'll, um, after this red, he'll track the red to the, to the middle and then he'll go for the one on the right, right hand rail. Was not, he might actually have to actually go in and hit the red and rail with the swipe because um, he might be able to hold it for it. Could go off the cushion, track it. He's just going over there. Yeah, I went into it. Oh no, it wasn't ideal. So Greg now is after coming a cropper here. He probably needed an angle just to screw over that red and the rail without having the the um, extra move, but it, 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 didn't, it didn't give himself an angle. Thanks, Jordan. So, um, but look at this now. Um, Adam's going back into the table. Greg has played a very good shot, but he didn't drop. Yeah, it dropped. That's a great shot. That was a great shot to get out of jail there, but um, this is still a very fine cut in the top left hand corner. But if it is, put a um, he'll be on the black no matter where it is, the white nearly. God, it's just coming straight across the table. It's going to probably go across two or three times. One. That's perfect. It's an A2 lead now. This is, as I said, it'll be coming into a bit of a mountain for Adam. A2, Casey.
Back to the action, so it's um, Greg to break, leading by eight frames to no. eight to yeah. Hi there, Greg. That was a great finish out there, wasn't it? So, Greg leads by eight frames to two. Last ten, so Adam's a six frame deficit now to make up, which is going to be tough for any, for any, any match. But playing playing with a 500 man, so um, great dry break. So Adam's in now. So Adam has to put a few frames of order. It's going to be curtains. Adam's on the yellow balls. And he has to get his frame on the ball because Greg goes to nine. He looked like an absolute certainty to win this tournament again. Be a few bob going back to Cork tonight. And Sean, the star in Walsh after winning 1250 euro, getting to the semi finals. Well done, Sean, for a 15 year old, is some achievement. I'm just saying, like, squad see young juniors coming through at that age, like, um, playing against the best in the country. I'm not showing any, not showing any nerve or anything like that. I think Sean's going to be a serious ball bear. He actually is a serious ball bear, but he's going to end up one of the top, top ball bears in the country. I don't know, just everything's just going against him. He's not getting the run of the balls. Just everything's everything just seems to be hard from So Adam's got for the yellow to the right hand corner. Special. Just has to get a bit of luck here now. Ah, uh, perfect. Don't pull there better with your hand. So I fancy Adam now to drop the one in the left hand corner. Come back around for the one beside it and then put the yellow on the top. Top left hand pocket. Yeah, here we go, this one. For just, just come around the other one. Yeah, perfect. Just leave the long yellow one and just go back and the black for the middle. I always go wrong though, see, he's sitting here. Not missing the ball all day, I haven't. So I have to get, have to get out there and people commentating, but this is a bad shot, that's a bad shot. Put your money where your mouth is, put 500 euro up and enter this tournament and see how far you get then. That's what I always say. Very easy to be an armchair critic. Now just, just have to scroll back two or three inches below the red in the middle of the table. 
at that pink spot. But I don't think it's it. You might have to stun into the red because um, there's no yellow to the middle pocket. So this could go wrong. That's a great shot. Great shot at him. That's a big pair of balls at uh, two down. So that kind of a shot. I always go wrong, but I said, does anyone come back? Mr. Mark can. So it's 8 3. Speed broke dry, yeah. So, Greg, now to be going yellows here. I'd say, um, Shane, six to one, Adam. Yeah, I think there's a lot of people here for Adam, Shane. So, you're not alone in your sport from Greg, of course, having massive experience for the snow ground pool circuits. I'm going to become a daddy this year as well. Congratulations, Greg and your partner, Claire, I think her name is. So Greg's still deciding what to go for. They're looking for, get the friend to put on the hill, as we call it, which is one away from being the 2019 big one. John McMahon, Memorial Trophy champion. He's going for red, so that red must pot in the top left hand corner. Just drop this down, put red in the middle then. Yeah. He's looking to be fairly, fairly handy, so. Red in the middle and then track the one beside the guys got up trying. Mm. Was a strange type of shot, but um, who am I to question Gregory's thinking? You might play a plant here, that's anything. Plants can go wrong every so often, so he's not happy where he left the white, but um. He took a great finish in the last round, so or the frame before last, sorry. Adam on the last round. <laughs> Scratch shot. So he's um <laughs> Greg just two, three round reds, or four reds, but they're all. And when you open this one here, you might just um, put the red to the left hand corner and kick out the, kick out the red. Yep, it's kicked onto the cushion though. Mm, it's not ideal, but it's actually an angle now to take it off the left hand top rail. He'll, um, he has the angle, he's got the red will put into the top corner anyway, so it's just be a bit more, bit more awkward. I think you're trying to take this out the cushion now. Okay. There he goes. Has he got it? He missed it. In off. Oh, wow. And actually gave a shot now to the top left hand corner. Bit of luck came off the knuckle. Super real shot by Greg. Oh, Stead in the pocket. Said, Louis Adam in all sorts of trouble now. 
If anyone likes an old trench warfare, it's Mr. Marr. One of the best tacticians in uh, Poland, Ireland. For 20 years of age. He was ahead of it. He teaches me like a 50 year old. So I'll put him in the world of pain here now. He's right behind the yellow. Oh, he left it. Tell them what the bin is, Graham, will you? I'll bring the bin up there. I'll bring it back to the bin. Yes, though, yeah. Stay yeah. from there. Oh, that's a great effort by him, um, Greg, to double the red in the middle, but um, it's hit the top right, but he had knuckles, so it's added back in and he lost, but he's in all sorts of trouble here. Adam needs to leave this frame because he goes 9 3 down, it's, it's 100 to 1 shot. So Greg might be like put this red off the off the side cushion and then nearly put him perfect in the red to the middle, so I'm just looking at it now so yes. Right off the cushion, and just plowed it in. It's a great shot. Perfect. Just drop it in, now red in, and play the black to the left hand middle. That's what you're doing here. Some bio. So, right now, in his last red, just let's say I just want to drop it down uh, without any heroics and then put it. Black in the left hand middle. Oh, he's coming back up for it. So we got in trouble there, it's not ideal either. You can see the fancy snow player to put that black. He might. Can is that yellow one put up? Let's see. He's have to have his scroll, just scroll off it so he's not going to hit it full ball. I said he should have just dropped it in and, and put the white down on the bottom rail and just leave it. Hard enough black in the middle, but you need your honour. This is making a lot of he's making a lot of um unnecessary trip of the white ball at the time. So probably screw this in now and um stop hitting the yellow one full in the face. Yep, yeah, that's the black. Pine tree greggles. So 9 3 down out of Maris, he needs it. He needs to win 7 on the bounce now to claim this trophy. That's said the winner receiving 4,500 euro. Um, runner up, 2,500. I'm beating semi finalists, 1250 was Jordan Sinnott and Sean the Storm Walsh, 15 year old Carconian. Adam Dre breaks again, he's getting no look off the break. Um, Greg will be going red here, but look at it.
Hello, Adam Six, not right, Adam. I'm sorry, kid. Long time no see. Let's go chat, big Greg. Only problem has is is that black ball. There's loads of angles there to keep that out from there. Mike went to the black hair maybe he's the angle but I don't think he's not angled went to where went to where that no he's looking for a better angle to go into them balls to get the black out there that's not great no he's, he's, he has the angle but it's probably Chinese snow but maybe he's the jack up on it yeah he's going into the pack now let's call it So I missed the red to the corner, but um, I missed the pack as well, so I still took the pocket off, so he's, he's great favourite to beat George Dublin 21st is so home advantage of George, like the favourite. Ah, it's a kind toss, Terry. I think the bookies have um, Greg a short price, but um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be letting pass George his home venue. George can be very good, her absolute muck. All depends what George turns up. So Adam's after trying to get that cover that bottom pocket, but then we have to open up the red. So the black is actually very powerful now. So this could be his last, his last visit in this tournament. Just red in the rails, and he shot that. He's um, maybe a small bit trouble there. Right now he's getting a little bit of look on like he's he could be a Chinese snooker there but yeah he actually landed perfectly now. Just go up off this um this red now and leave the red to the bottom right hand corner. We could have been up a small bit more but um he's still the red in the top left and top right hand corner so he's gonna track either of them. Nah, some shot. This looks um oh my god. The whites after No, the whites after is just sneaking past that red in the top left corner and it doesn't have a shot on either ball. You might be able to put the red in the far right, but um this loss is it, but um it's probably going off it. That was very unlucky taking red off the cushion but then coming across then and not giving himself a shot on the on either red actually. So I just played a snooker. Nothing else could do but um, Adam is in serious trouble now. He's gonna have to Oh no, actually Greg really didn't hit a cushion so it's um, Adam has ball in hand. Two shots, so that's Adam's getting no jail here. Right. Very foolish of um, Greg not to hit cushion at that time, so it's a two shot penalty. A ball in hand, so Adam is um, still a breed slightly more. But um, still a 90 down is going to be an absolute monster comeback to beat Greg. But um, there's no one better than Mr. Maher. Like saying, put a bit of respectability in the scoreline, even if, if it doesn't win it, just to get a few more frames on the board because Adam's better than he's better than what the scoreline is suggesting. He was falling low to Jordan Sin in the semis, he's going back and won in the side of 10 9. That's a great shot there. So, um, <coughs> I'm just looking at the silo again, just not to be sure. Well, wiped it, wiped it for you, it lets us. Just main is slightly hard on himself, he's going to have to. He might just try to hang this yellow and cup for the yellow on the rail, <coughs> play the plant. 
No, I just had an opportunity, so. Yeah. Well, so it's like, it's like, last year, it's last year's going to be like Rail Show, which can, can always hang it, you know, so. I just hope they can finish and get a bit of a frame on the board. It's perfect. It's going to be a bit, I know it's probably come up down off the cushion now, but um, the left hand side, you can trace left hand side. Uh, no, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Sprung off the cushion, so good. So, God, I'm in all sorts of trouble here now. I mean, I have to play the double to the bottom right hand corner or the right hand middle, but neither shot the whites flying around the place. The, ball seen, the white ball seemed to ping off that, that top rail. He was uh, trying to track it for the bottom left hand corner, but um, he really pinged out that top cushion. So I was going to try and double it to the bottom right hand corner. The soft just goes in. Oh, I missed it. Well, could have been worse, I suppose. Is the red, red stuck to the right, top right hand rail, so but, um, the other was actually over the bottom right, so he's still got an outside chance of winning this for him, but um, depends on Craig. Tracks this red perfectly. Might actually take that red to the corner now. And then just do what happens. So Greg taking his time, just rubbing down his cue with a towel. He won't panic because um he's been there and he has loads of experience. He's still a young man, but um he's been in the worst and the worst qualifiers for um, the bet by Ding Young Lee, 10-4, so that's nice to have in your CV. So here we go now, let's track this. Just, oh, it's not great. He's going to be scoring a snooker, and um, I hope Adam doesn't put the yellow. Still, still got limbs if a hard enough shot, but then. Um, Now play the snowboard, so Adam has to hit the yellow. Even if he hits the yellow, Adam, it still gives him. Greg's not going to leave Greg a very hard um, rail shot if, if he does hit the yellow, but if he doesn't hit the yellow, it's game over. So if he hits the yellow and puts it towards the pocket, it's not as bad as not missing it. Um, if he misses his, his curtains. Goes have three cushions, maybe two cushions. So here we go, Adam. That's going to hit yellow, yeah. Oh, my God, Almighty. Went around two cushions and didn't hit it, so this looks um, very ominous for Adam. So here we go, Greg, two shots. So he's setting it up, so he is. Oh. Could be a lot better for Greg. This, these can rattle, but um, I fancy him to screw down the rail and just leave it straight enough black. Yeah, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. This looks like to be the 2019 champion. Looks to be for Greg Casey from the Rebel County. Ha! It's black to win 10 3. It's all over. Well done, Greg Casey. And look at the other Thanks to the 19 contestants. Like, uh, compare this again. <laughs> well done to Greg Casey. You're the big one, 2019 champion. Unlucky to Adam Maher, just ran into a steam train there. Didn't click for him the way it did in the in the semi. Uh, Adam has played an awful lot better pool than that over the last few days.
Thanks to Jimmy for a bit of commentary there. Much appreciated. And to Barry Sinnott for joining. Your champion, Greg Casey. Our next live stream is on the 21st of this month, December. Match starts at 3 o'clock from Terry Rogers Snooker Club between George Tierney and Greg Casey. This is the King of the Hill amateur section, which is the, the main section. As you can see, the winner picks up 5,000 and the runner up 2,500. I also believe that there is a lot of money on the side. Um, it's anywhere up to 20 grand at the minute. Who will be crowned a king? I'm going to have a small presentation here from uh, Jimmy Fleming to the two players.